Hello everybody and welcome back to more Super Mario Bros. X. This time we are going to be playing The Great Empire. Now I, I know it's not World 7, but I just really felt like recording, so I'm going to play this. This is something that I uh, had planned on doing eventually. Oh god. Oh god. Super Paper Mario music. The best music. Um... <laughs> Anyway, this is some. This is a um, a developer map that I planned on doing eventually because I do plan on doing all of them eventually. Uh, but I wasn't going to do it anytime soon. But I didn't know what else to record. So yeah, I'm just gonna play the Great Empire. Um, I ha now I have like a very long time ago I played this, uh, but I didn't finish it. Because I either, I either got stuck or bored. Hey, good to see you again. I heard about the princess getting kidnapped again by Bowser. Go save her. Okay. <laughs> okay, fine. Oh good, a one-up. Um, let's see, can we go into this castle? No. No, we cannot. Oh, this music. So good. Yeah, that's, um... The thing about custom music, I've been trying to use it a lot more lately in uh, in Super Demo Bros X, my, my custom episode, uh, which by the way, World 7 is, there is one more level left to be made, so it's coming, it's, it's very close, but I've been trying to use custom music, but for some reason, most of the music that I, I put it turns out really quiet when played in the game, and I have no idea why. And it's only some, and not all, and I don't know what to do about it, because like, the volume of the audio file itself is already very high, it's just like, really quiet for some reason. So if anyone knows how to like, fix that, I'd really appreciate that. Um, anyways, down the pipe. This looks like the end of the level, potentially. I can't get over this music, it's so good. Super Paper Mario is, is one of those games that I think is like extremely underrated. But for me, it's like probably my favorite Paper Mario game. In fact, it might even be my favorite Wii game. Eh, that maybe not. Like Galaxy, Galaxy 2, really good. But uh be careful up ahead is some flying Koopas. They will never chase after you. Okay. What? Did he say never or... I, 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 look, I'm not, I don't know how to read. And I'm dead. Great. <laughs> the first level! Guys, I'm very good at this game. Um, <laughs> I might as well just cut back to where I was. See you there. High question mark block. <laughs> Can't do anything about that. Okay, back here. Let's not die. Okay, good start, good start. <laughs> Shoot. Shoot! There you go. Now... Uh, what can I talk about? What can I talk about that's... Oh, hey, there's a fire flower there, that, down there. What can I talk about that's recent? New. Uh, Pokemon, Sun and Moon, they uh, they just announced the uh, the starters for Sun and Moon. I should talk about like my experience with Pokemon as a whole. See, when I was a kid, or when I was younger, uh, I didn't really... They will try to... Why did I think he said never? I, I never really grew up on the, the Pokemon games. I, I didn't really play any of them. Because uh, I didn't have a Game Boy or a Game Boy Advance. Uh, my first Nintendo console was actually the Nintendo DS. And, uh... God. Oh, God. For some reason, I, like, one of my uncles or something got me this, uh... This special cartridge for the DS that holds a micro SD card in it. Uh, and then the micro SD card has ROMs of DS games, so I was, I was basically, basically able to play any DS game ROM on the DS without using an emulator. It was basically illegal, but uh, 
I was really young, and it, 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 they had already loaded up a bunch of games on it, and one of those games, two of those games, were uh, Diamond and Pearl. So, as I was like trying out all the different games, there was like Bomberman and all sorts of Mario games. Uh, I tried Diamond, and I played it for a while. I'm like, okay, this, this is all right. And then I got stuck and couldn't figure out how to progress. I think it's because I, I never talked to NPCs at all. So I don't think I even got one gym badge, but then I played Pearl and I'm like, this is the exact same game, what, I don't understand. I eventually, I was informed about why th they do the whole two games that are pr practically the same, except not really. Um, but yeah, so I never really truly played a Pokemon game, but I think I'm going to get Sun and Moon. Just. And uh, yeah, play a play a Pokemon game for the first time. As for the anime, though, I've actually I've been watching the entire anime recently. I'm up to season nine, and actually, the first episode uh, of the Pokemon anime that I ever saw was the first episode of season nine because it was the first episode to air on Cartoon Network. So, so that's good. I think I and I, I think at the time, again, I was really young. I had never heard of four kids, so that's probably why I never saw any of the earlier episodes. But I, like, I vaguely remember seeing, like, the first episode or two, somehow. But I don't remember how when I was young. But yeah, I'm up to season nine. I've also al already seen all of the the black and white series, but I think I'm gonna rewatch it when I get there. I've also been watching all the the Pokemon movies, but yeah, that's that's basically my experience with Pokemon. Never really played a game, but I love the anime. Oh, there's a secret eggs in this one. Sunshine Valley. But I haven't seen all of the anime yet, and I plan on playing Sun, on, Sun and Moon. <laughs> now that I am an adult with money. Um, yeah, by the way, I'm 18 now. In case you didn't, in case you care at all, you probably don't. Now, what? Where could this secret exit be? Maybe this pipe instead. Nope. All right, can't take the spring. Uh, okay. Hmm. Oh, this is just back here. Okay. So I was supposed to go left. Gosh, dang it. Now, because of that, I'm going to die, probably. Hopefully not. Big waste of time. Okay, so go left. And go through this pipe, I guess. And then here's where we slide. Lot. Oh, there! I see it. That wasn't so bad. I mean, it's the second level. Perfect. Uh, nine minutes, okay. We can keep going here. Oh. Oh boy. An island. It's another secret exit level. <laughs> Mushroom Heights. <laughs> Doesn't every episode have, have a level called that? Oh, okay. Oh nice, Mario Sunshine music. I didn't, uh, I didn't pay attention to the music in the last level. I, I'm not sure what it was from, but probably some kind of underrated Mario game. <laughs> If I had to guess. Oh, I can go in here. Koopa Man. Ah, plumber, the bridge is down, so you're going to have to get to get my brother to activate it. He lives up high in the mountains. Here, take this war pipe, it will take you to the top of the mountains. Perfect. Thank you very much. It's like some some Koopas are actually nice people. Or Koopas. They're not really. I don't want to get into that. <laughs> Argument. What, what is considered people? Oh, an arrow. Oh, it just brought me back down here. Okay. Don't trust arrows. <laughs> They're just trying to trick you. All right. Okay. Huh? You want the bridge activated? Sure. Oh, and by the way, it's it's next to my bro's castle. Ah, right. Okay then. So that's what the arrows for. Never mind, arrows are totally cool dudes, and I appreciate them a lot. I also appreciate Yoshi. Probably be dead by now, <laughs> if it weren't for him. Sure. 
<clears throat> now we are underground. No, really? I couldn't tell that with with my eyes. Waterfalls. Yeah, this um this episode is uh it, it's it looks very pretty. Like the levels and the way they're designed and just the the background objects and everything. It's all it's all very pretty. Okay, don't don't do that. Don't that's that was not worth it. <laughs> Alright. But yeah, I can't remember how far I got in this when I played this like years ago, or why I didn't continue. There's another one up down there. I'm not gonna chance it. Okay, that just brought me back. Oh, I see. Oh, a star! I think we found our secret exit. Awesome. And now I'm gonna have to do this whole level again. Because, of course, the secret exit was placed at, like, the end of the level. Basically next to the, the regular- ooh, a nice flower. The regular exit. Which is like- it's like- it's kind of like an artificial way of lengthening a game, but I don't know. It's not too bad. I do it sometimes, but it's also, like, really annoying. You have to do the whole level twice. What I like more is when a secret exit, it, like, there's more, like, there's a second path, right? So, like, you've got the normal path that's, like, obvious that leads you to the regular exit, but then you've got this alternate path that you might not have found on your first go that takes you to the secret exit. It's, like, an entirely different level. Those are always cool. Um... And I, do, I, of course, I do that sometimes, but I don't know. I'm not the best when it comes to level design, but I at least have experience. Some, some experience. Oh boy, vegetables. My favorite. Yo, stop shooting at me. <sighs> so bad at this game. Okay. Don't go for the one-up. You will die, probably. I mean, last time I didn't die, but that was because I had Yoshi. This time, I don't remember where I got that Yoshi, actually. Please don't hurt me. Okay. Here we go. Oh, jeez. Okay. We actually have to fight Birdo here, along with these things, which I don't think you can spin jump on, so this is gonna be tricky. Please, like, let me hurt you. What? Ah! I totally grabbed that, dude. No! <laughs> Man, I wish these levels had checkpoints, because they're a little long. That, that's one thing I remember about this game. The levels, they look pretty, but they're so long. I mean, it's not, this one's not that long, but, like, I don't know. Maybe there's a way to get across without the bridge? Crap. No, definitely not. De okay, there's water. So it's totally safe to fall down. Okay. It's just that you have to go all the way back. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, I did not expect to land on ground there. Uh, let, let me just cut back. NPCs, man. It's like... They don't really serve a purpose, because you could just hit, like, a switch and say, Oh, the, the, the bridge is open now. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, it, it's like, this kind of, like, depth to the world. It's like, there's people, and they, they talk, and they live here, and they, they have houses, and people live in houses. And so do Koopas, apparently. But, like, it's not necessary, but, like, I totally also do that all the time. People live, and both of them are houses. Where do these go? Oh, that's how you get this one up. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't see that 
platform before. Maybe it only shows up after you hit this switch. Um, ah, shall we do it? Let's, let's try. Oh, there's totally ground here. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Wasting my time! Just for, just for extra lives, man. At least the NPCs that I killed here are still dead. That's nice. Okay, this time I can take a hit. Gosh, darn it. How do you do, good sir? Oh, jeez. Just ran right into her, him, it. Epic shortcut time, yeah! I hate that SMB2 enemies don't die to fire. Alright, once more. Have at the dinosaur thing of the pink variety. Also with a bow on your head. It's kinda it's kinda cute, honestly. It suits you. You look ridiculously bald without it. Oh my god. Uh, remember when you could take the bow off of Birdo's head and Super Mario Advanced. Crap. <laughs> uh, maybe this is where I got stuck. <laughs> the third level, well, the, the, the first secret level. No, I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Uh, but my god. It, it, it's a hard fight, because there's just things everywhere and not a lot of room. That's, that's one of the things about Birdo. That, that's really what makes Birdo a difficult boss, is when there's just no room to fight. It's like, it's easy when there's like nothing around you. Like, no walls, no other enemies, it's just Birdo. You know, like the first level of Mario 2. But when you, when you throw like 500 of those spark thingies, and the fact that the, the room is kind of small, it's, it's difficult. <laughs> why why I'm not able to beat it here? This pipe isn't really necessary. I mean, you could climb back up, but you know, it's convenient. It's nice. Okay, okay. Shoot your egg. I'm gonna grab your egg at a time that button press of the run button. Okay, that. Didn't work. And one more, one more. No! I pressed the button! Okay, just wait for the Sparkies. Just wait for them. They will clear out. I don't actually know what they're called. Ah, oh, good. Why? Oh god, there's more! <laughs> so that wasn't the end of the level, so the star was actually halfway through the level, huh? Jeez, man, that was a close, that was a tight dodge. What an instant replay of that. By the way, guys, I think... Uh, I think uh, I'm gonna stop editing my own videos and get my editor to edit my videos. Who, if you don't know, uh, go watch Loud Lads. Our editor does things. Our editor edits for us, that is. <laughs> Let's see what this mushroom house does. Okay. It's a, it's a mushroom house, but there's there's enemies. Ah, here we go. Dode! I'm just relaxing. There There is something on the table over there that might interest you. Yes. Yes, it does. Nice blue lamps. They're probably just off. Um... Alright, uh, water level or cave level? I, I like cave levels better than water level, so let's save that. Save the best for last. <laughs> nice SMB1 fireflower. Oh, good lord. What is this music? What is this castle? Is this... Is this a thing? No? Crap. <laughs> These fish are shrekking me. Tr 
true MVP. Uh, God, I don't like moving things. They scare me. I fear no platform, but those things, they scare me. Here we go. Yeah, I don't know what this is from. I don't think it's from a Mario game, so... Unless it's like a crap remix. I can't hear it too well, because I have the volume turned down, but um, you know what? It's been... actually, no, th there's a lot to cut out, so... Let's do this. Let's, let's just go. Let's just do this. Gosh dang it. You know, like that one guy. What, what's his name? Shia Leibouf? Something like that. Anyway. Crap. <laughs> uh. Oh, n n I've, like, I felt like doing commentary today, like, really badly, and now I'm just, like, not talking at all. I do have, like, this kind of, like, list of uh, stories and jokes that I want to tell on a video, uh, but I'm saving them for Loud Lads, because I feel like Loud Lads is more about our commentary together and being funny around each other than the game, and I feel like this channel is more about crap. It's more about crap, but oh, okay. It's more about the game, SMBX, than my commentary, but the commentary is, is necessary. It needs to be there, and I hope you appreciate my commentary. Because sometimes I feel like you don't care, but I know some of you do. Good enough for me. Okay, this level should not be hard. It's like the third level. Oh, jeez, man, that enemy placement is just genius. Don't care about that one-up. Okay. Take it slow, take it slow. It was a slow year. Okay, yeah, 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 do it, yeah. No! I want that! Ah! Hitboxes! I hate... I hate that they just like have to go up and down and stuff. Alright, you know what? Next time! Next time! I'll do this in the next video. I, I should probably go to the Mushroom House and get stuff. Ne next time! So th thanks for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to like the video. Be sure to also add it to your favorites, leave a comment, and subscribe. Also, I have a Twitter now. You can you can follow me on Twitter. Also, if you haven't noticed, I just remember this. Uh, on the sides, there there's like things and not just black darkness. So yeah, that that's cool. But follow me on Twitter. I mostly tweet uh, Rocket League replays uh, and other replays of different games. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.